Meghan Markle here. Today is January 20th, 2022, no, 2023. It is 1.43 a.m. So I just posted something on my community board on this channel regarding uh, him, Jerry Clarkson. It seems like he's been fired, gig that he had. And um, underneath that, I sort of explained the situation with my other channel. It was not approved, so go check it out okay so i take full responsibility of that i explain it um on my community board okay so another thing i'm gonna do which is happening right now i'm sort of re-editing it so i could post it here i delete one video on my other channel my video the thing that i did do the recording and stuff like that it has no issues on my other channel but i delete it over there i'm gonna put it over here and i will see how it goes if youtube doesn't give me any problem because it was on the other channel which was never made public i'll see how it goes if youtube don't give me any problem i'll make it public over here and i'll do the same for all the other videos that i have on my other channel that was never been public they were scheduled for you to see at a certain date so if youtube don't give me any problem with the one that I'm doing right now, then I'll do the same for the rest. Okay, so let's get started. I do not have a lot of tweet to share with you. It's some stuff that I saw today. I don't have the computer to myself, so I don't want to stay too long and record a lot. Okay, so this is the first tweet. Okay, Princess Kate, credible early years expert, nursery school are important. So I respond to this a while ago. There's my response. She has all possible expert in this field that could help her bring her talking point to life, but she's not using them. I kept hearing about this, but zero work to show. I try not to mark her. At this point, if others marked her, she's asking for it. It's a great idea, but zero result. And there's me saying, whatever. These are other comments. She never disappoints with her finding baby brain. Oh my God, the squad or something with that baby brain. But Hey, but the thing is that I think the firm is fine with her, I don't know, stupidity, I would say, because to them, they think if she's not being liked or loved by the public, for some reason, that should make other people like her partner. So they don't see it as a team kind of thing. If she looks bad, that also makes the firm looks bad. So they don't see that concept. I, I can't force them to understand. But I'm not in the business of marking people. Like I said, her particular subject, early childhood, there's a lot of people who've done that, this kind of studies. If she worked with someone who's not as popular as she is, but has the brain and have the result of all of this, she could easily partner with this person and bring the other person's work to life. But they're not doing that. All right? Because this is not an easy subject. Just because it's children, it actually more difficult if it was a uh, if it was an adult kind of particular topic. Because adults could easily explain to you how they feel to their best capacity but most children their vocabulary are not up to par they don't know how to uh, express their emotion sometimes their best way is to be somewhat violent you know hitting biting screaming and do all those things but there are experts who've been studying this type of things from children they could easily help her highlight those stuff and make her project successful but ever since i've been hearing early childhood this and that it's just talking point all right but there's no result 
Let's read some of the comments and then I'll go to the next tweet. In our charity, we have to bear most years a royal visit. You simply don't know how disruptive those visits are. Ah, I could understand. I could understand that because you have, you know, the people who are working there, they have their schedule, they have things to do and all of that. And um, what is it? It disrupt the flow of the people's work. So I, I truly understand that. If, for instance, they were truly care, they involve, let's say, financially, help those uh, charities with financial things, and they know the ins and out. Like, for instance, Megan with uh, the Hub community, she goes there quietly and do her thing. I mean, it's not the same as being in a classroom and deal with uh, people, but if, for instance, let's say she doesn't go in the classroom, she's in the office administrating listen to the people who are doing the paperwork what sort of help they need what things the teachers are telling them that issues and all that if she was there to listen to the problem and find solution to bring to the classroom i don't think it would be a, a huge problem but these people they're only there for photo app and i could understand the disruption that they do when they go over there you have a whole bunch of people who never been in the room cameras clicking and this and then to you know uh, i don't know well then again the uk is about performative and the people seems to accept it so what can i say all right let's start all over and our charity with to bear most years a royal visit you simply don't know how disruptive those visits are again royal patrons don't bring more visibility no recognition or donation those visit only promote the royal hey not the cause they visit yep exactly and they're just going over there <laughs> and then when they're showing at the end of the year the how much work they do and this is the disruptive thing they list on the thing that considered as work it's so freaking annoying let's see six comment on there okay is it possible to decline a visit or is it their tremendous social pressure to let royal invite themselves wherever okay good question i don't think anyone ever dare say no to the royal visit <laughs> mm -hmm. okay i recall you saying that during his yearly visit you learned that prince edward is intellectually dull and socially awkward edward the forgotten is living proof that king charles is a liar sadly edward was too trusting and didn't take the dukedom list offer him upon marriage wow okay i i don't know what uh, the queen had offered him when he married so i don't know okay for the duchy of edinburgh charles may be breaking his mom's word but those duchies no longer make sense besides scotland is on the verge of independence the city of edinburgh wouldn't take it nicely and edward has no interest in scotland plus it will push the duchy far down the line of succession okay that's interesting so okay this is someone who knows what's going on and is level-headed i like her response okay that's interesting tell me has anyone said no thanks to a visit and if so how did it go also can you say no thanks okay i think she sort of respond that uh, responded to here i think that's why i don't think anyone ever dare say no to a royal visit so this is the response for that uh, she should have followed the thing can i just say that it said in me that her clothes are the headline not the charity i've always wondered that and you've answered my query so th that was a very let me follow her because she seems to be is that her yeah let me follow her where is it follow where do i do it much easier i let me follow her. it seems like she knows uh let's see racial social justice all humans deserve food water education health space megan was an asset ah okay europe haiti brazil usa that's someone who has her head and her shoulder megan was an asset yeah it was and look how they treat her and push her out of there so i think that's a good follow from this comment okay let's read some more under this i didn't think i was gonna stay that long on this tweet so we're not going to discuss how super elevated her hair piece was. I don't think it's touching her scalp. A whole entity on its own. Okay. Okay. I'm not about fashion and all of this, but whatever. Okay. She spent 10 years doing research on the subject with nothing more than mumbling to show for her effort. That's the thing I'm saying. 
I don't know if she said that. Okay, who funds that kind of a research? That's more than enough time for anyone to get a BS, MS, and PhD. This is extremely shameful and embarrassing for Britain. I don't know what the firm is. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I think the firm is pushing her to do all of this. But like I said, there's so many people who have done the same type of research that she's talking about. All she needs to do is partner up with somebody and then highlight the person and make sure not to take credit for it. Because once people start asking you question, most likely you will not know. Make sure to give credit to the person and let the person explain her work and then help fund those places that need this type of things. Maria Montessor from 1896 to 1901, Montessor worked with and researched kids experiencing form of cognitive delay, illness and disability. She also began to travel, study, speak, publish nationally and internationally, coming to prominence as an advocate for education for children. I didn't know about that. So that's good to know. Okay, let's see here. Miranda Presley voice. Okay, nursery school. Nursery school are important for early years development, groundbreaking. Uh, after this, that's it. We know that already most of us are mothers. Besides, she's been singing the same tune for the last five years. Give her something new, interesting, tangible. Okay, heck, isn't that why every child in the world attend one? Okay, OMG, my five-year-old just said, Mama, why are you looking at that creepy person? <laughs> All right, I don't, whatever. Maybe a day living the life of a single parent or married couple with three children and a full-time job that will give her an insight into early childhood. Okay, so I'm leaving this subject. She's been talking about it, but no, nothing to show for it. Like I said, it's a good subject, but I don't think she's approaching it the right way. Okay, and the month before Megan, Harry's life was so bleak and depressing. All he did was work and go home. It's scary that those around him didn't see how lonely he was. Spare. I think in some of my old videos on PYTE, I've said things like that where he probably just stays in his room, play video game, because I just can't see someone every time he steps out, he needs security. And majority of the time, he doesn't want people in his face. So it's not really fun to go out and enjoy the things that most of us will enjoy so i do i did see he spent most of his time in his room so let's see here i guess this is a quote from the book okay spare prince harry there were times like this where i had to stop and just weep other than the occasional shopping, I stopped going out in 2015. Stop entirely. No more occasional dinners and mates. No more house parties. No clubs. No nothing. Okay, there's a crying face. There's three comments under that. Okay, Harry definitely suffered from depression. Yeah, I mean, the kind of people around him. And I'm not talking in terms of friends, in terms of family. You see, every time he tried to express his certain things, they just mock him, make fun of him, but when he's trying to be serious. So I could see being by himself is probably, I'm not saying it's the best thing, but it's probably better when you are around your family who's putting you down. Maybe the York sisters, maybe she, uh, Harry has good relationship with them. They're probably more, uh, joyous around him so maybe this probably the best way to hang out but his brother you see every chance that he get he mocked him so it's not fun being around him okay i shed tears and actually had to take a break reading that part the loneliness the loneliness is so profound okay i know i shudder to think where he would be right now if he hadn't met the captain of his soul love wins so many i mean t you see when he goes out his eyes is fixated to megan is as if he's wondering oh my god i can't believe this beautiful woman actually said yes to me this kind of thing so megan pretty much like the squad have said save harry okay and then you're hearing those other nut jobs over there who don't try to understand at basic you the most basic you could think of of human level but instead the inciting violence they're trying to be somewhat macho creating chaos and all of this meanwhile harry just wants somebody to love him okay and then he found it and that's why he's protecting it okay that moment where he said i didn't want to exist sent chill down my spine i've battled depression since i was 10 and thoughts like that are frequently 
precursor to thought of suicide wow okay they and the thing is that when megan was thinking about suicide and luckily for her i think maybe is diana's intervention that popped up into her brain to said look i don't want to cause him pain because the woman meaning his mom you know die and he she doesn't want to cause another grief like that so maybe i don't know the universe i speak a lot of crazy things but i truly believe the universe have ways to connect with people you just have to open your eyes so maybe princess diana interfere with that thought and said don't do it just speak to him and go along with him to that outing all right let's see here uh, it struck me how he waited to be invited to his brother's home, never got an invite, and they lived close. Wow. Harry was lonely, so glad he found Megan and is very happy now with his little family. It warms my heart to think of it. Hey, that's that's why he keep on, he said in one video, uh, he wish he could have done this much sooner. Alright, I'll put that clip. Hopefully, the YouTube don't black it. I've used it before, but let's see. And I have no regrets. It's it's incredibly sad, but I have no regrets at all because now I'm in the, in a place where I feel as though I should have been four years ago. Okay. Oh, they definitely saw it. It was more beneficial to them to keep Harry exactly where they want him to be. Okay. They love it for him. Yeah, because they feel like when somebody else is down, the other one is elevated. They don't think the family as a team. Okay, I think they did. They just didn't care. I don't even think they wanted him to get married. He was their weeping third wheel so much. They didn't think he will do this. Glad he met Megan. I don't know. The way he said he saw the image on IG. I don't know. It's like Princess Diana hold his head and said, look past through those emojis. And then some of the things that I've said. Through a picture, he was able to see the vibrant lifestyle that Megan had and then I did send some other videos when he goes to visit Megan in Canada the people around him the fun the vibrant it seems like there's always music around Megan you know those uh, whatever mood she's in there's music playing in the background so when he's over there it's like a refreshing to him and then throughout their courtship when nobody knew Megan's friends knew you didn't hear a beep you didn't hear a thing. So he was already comfortable and feel like this is a place I could feel very good, you know, relaxed at. I could be, uh, you know, I could be myself. So yeah, Megan's friends and his friend, Nacho, and the other thing as well. I've said this as well. Nacho's way, family life, I think also inspires heavy to have the same kind of a family lifestyle that Nacho has with his wife and kids and all of that. So Nacho, I believe, was a good and is still a good influence to Harry based not only his personal, I don't know Nacho, okay? I don't follow him. I just know he's Harry's uh, friend, okay? So the lifestyle he probably lived sort of inspired Harry to strive, for something similar so he had to search very carefully a woman who will help him get to that point and i think they have it okay let's see here um exactly thank god megan came into his life they saw they were happy they wanted to keep him that way william especially never wanted harry to get married and have his own nuclear family yeah i mean this guy is a freaking nod job i don't know what he thinks with his three kids if this is the way he thinks about harry and he has three kids and only one of them is gonna be heir to the throne how are the other two gonna i don't know and one of my comments i think i bookmark it where i said because they are diana's kids i hope diana i know get to those kids and help them get the hell out of there okay to think they knew how lonely he was and now he found megan and now they want to take from him is pure evil there's a special place in hell for everyone involved in the smear campaign of the couple mm-hmm there's that heartbreaking they saw they didn't care he was supposed to be the uncle that never married <laughs> the eccentric hermit like pip and great expectation maybe look at how uh what is it the queen's sister died miserable miserable they wanted the same thing 
for Harry. And I think, <laughs> I know in another video, I, I debunked my thing where when Harry asked the Queen to marry and she quickly said yes, I don't even think the Queen thought about, you know, let me let him marry so he doesn't end up like my sister or something. I don't even think that went into the Queen's head. If that happened, maybe it could have been prior to that. Maybe this is something the Queen have thought if the question of Harry asking her to marry Meghan, maybe she had already prepared for that. She was just waiting for Harry to ask. That's the only way that I think. But at the time when Harry asked the Queen, I don't even think the Queen think twice. Okay? So maybe it's something personally. Only the Queen kept that to herself after meeting Meghan to see how she is and the knowledge and all of that. Because the first meeting uh, Meghan had with Charles, they seemed like they hit it off. I believe Charles and Meghan had a good starting point, okay, intellectually. But, you know, the wife sort of messed it up for, for everybody. But, and also with the Queen, I think the Queen had a pretty good uh, positive impression of Meghan and then probably thought about it by herself before Harry even mentioned it to her. If that question ever come up, she's already had the answer. So maybe that's the only thing I could say. But at the time, I don't think the Queen thought about that unless she thought about it prior. She was just waiting for the question to be asked. All right, next tweet. British press expectation versus reality. Aren't this clown tired of always being wrong? Okay, what did they say here? Netflix expect to announce just 4.5 million extra subscribers half the same time last year, despite launching low cost tier and a string of hot ticket releases, including Harry and Meghan. Oh my God. I had to look at my mic to see if it's on. Yesterday I did, I think, 25 minutes worth of recording and the uh, mic was off. I was so pissed. B usually my initial thought when I'm recording, whatever I'm feeling is there. So if I record again, it's not the same because I already said what I had to say. All right. And the same thing when I'm reviewing a video. All right. So this is the next one. Netflix adds more than 7 million subscribers and fourth quarter smashing previous target. So this is the reality. The previous one, this is the nonsense the British tabloid put thinking that uh, it's not going to happen. Okay. I like that they acknowledging Harry Meghan as her ticket. <laughs> the squad always pick out the good part. Okay. Royal correspondent or not entertainment or business industry expert. Okay. So I take the one I'm blue is okay. I, so I take the one I'm blue is tabloid. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. This one. Um, there's that. They'll throw absolutely anything at the wall, hoping it sticks. No journalistic integrity or research required. Yesterday on my community board and on IG, I put a link of byline. Um, let's see if I see it. Of byline article. There it is here. Go read it. Let's see here. Um, there's seven comments. Let's see what some of the squad said within that. Okay. Thank you. Agree. We need change. It's about time that freedom of speech crosses the line and ruin people's life. It said, thanks for the info. Okay. So there's that. Um, I'll put the link in the description for you as well. This link, the byline, um, article. So I read part of it, not all. I'm always busy. Um, okay. There's a the laugh. Why did I mention that? Uh, because of this, they, they have no journalistic integrity to do what needs to be done. So what happened is that when the those people uh, fund those MPs or like in the U.S., those uh, senators and all of that. They ca the laws that they want to pass is to cater to those people. So the thing that's happening in the U.K., in my humble opinion, because I don't know, is that they probably pay those people to pretty much remove things that will uh, make them be accountable for their dishonesty this kind of thing all right so let's go to the next week uh it's already 24 minutes let's move on for five more i have all right this one i posted on my community board a few minutes ago there is a guy jeremy clarkson asked as host of who wants to be a millionaire so what i put on my community board regarding that is there it is 
if if you are in the UK, please confirm. Uh, oh, that's about he clocks in and the rest are baggage for God. Okay, I wanted just to confirm if he did get asked. All right, so I don't know. And I look on Twitter, I didn't see anything else. Okay, is this confirmed? I really hope so. You really hope so? You tweeted it. Okay, I didn't read that part. All right, let's see here. Okay, finger cross. I would be shocked if ITV does that. Zero trust in any British news channel. Okay, I know, right? There's that. Preach. Okay, what? After they said yesterday he wouldn't be. Is this true? I don't find this announcement anywhere. I hope it's true though. If this is true, awesome. Best thing I've read all day. Countdown to Danny three takes to start screaming. Okay, goodbye, sir. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's true though, but I saw it and I put it on my community board to confirm it next tweet all uh, right so this is omid and i think mm, i didn't post it yet i took screenshot of this okay the story and finding freedom about megan's security training was first debunked in 2021 during her male court case came as a surprise to me because it was palace official who confirmed it to my co-author and i but as heavy writes it's nonsense he wished was true my goodness, it's like everything come out of their mouth is full BS, meaning the palace. I mean, what? Is there a problem with the truth coming out of their mouth? I don't understand this. There were a number of lines fed by certain staff, which we then include due to fact check fails, thanks to make the institution look better, seeing the inner working of the palace so-called up during that storm was fascinating. Uh, experience I look forward to sharing in the end game. So he's writing another book. He has, uh, oops, he has a deal for another book. All right. It's very worrying that palace staff such as Jason Kanoff will provide false information, especially around such things as security. It's blatantly obvious Jason was working against Megan from day one. One can only assume on instruction from someone more senior. I know as I've been reading Spare that heavy saying this or that then happened or happened differently makes me question every single story the palace had put out in the last 40 years. And that also include with the death of Princess Diana. Okay, I'll come into this after what's on the screen here. That's why you should stop accepting briefing from anonymous palace sources. If they don't want to be quoted, then they shouldn't say anything. To be honest, royal reporters are complicit in this whole mess. Yeah, I should start naming names. Okay, as Kobe, I'm not being a conspiracy theorist, or maybe I am, has the claim that Diana asked for no more royal protection ever been independently verified. Oh, that's a very good um, question. Okay, why are you so quick to point out debunked stories about Megs, but half of Harry's book has been debunked and you're silent? I mean, this is what they told him. And he, I don't know, maybe somebody did point it out. Let's see what some people say here. Okay, in terms of having his memoir debunk, what is that? Okay, it says understood to be factual when many have been debunked as flat lies. Okay, has it? Can you share the substantial detail that have been debunked and provide the source? Please and thanks. Looking forward. That's V. What a nonsensical thing to say. How do you debunk someone's personal experiences and perception? Were you in his head to know how he felt about things and situation? His fear, his private life? Hmm? The palace always say no comment. So who debunked who? <laughs> who debunked? You? <laughs> Let's see here. That's why you grew up with Harry in the palace and was glued to his hip <laughs> all this time. Please enlighten us on the, what was debunked. Okay, so let's go back. I say I was going to go into this. I believe it was this one. Was it? As Kobe, I'm not being suspicious, but claim Diana asked for no more protection ever been debunked. Okay, verify. Okay, has Omid asked why Charles and Camilla first public event together was called Operation Ritz, giving Diana die, leaving the Ritz. Oh my God, I never thought about this. Was that boasting? I never thought about that. That is true. This is a very good thing. Has Omid asked why Charles and Camilla's first public event together was called Operation Ritz? Giving Diana die, leaving the Ritz. Oh my God. Was that boasting? Okay. 
let's feed this and then go into that again okay i have wondered about that as well i believe when the divorce it was removed from her but when she was with the children she had security all right let's go into that let's see here they were stepping out publicly after attending a birthday party at the ritz in london that's why the name okay i've never heard that one but it's true yikes okay never heard that but it's true it's not only morbid it's hateful Okay, one wonders and I don't know for some reason this might sound surprise to some I really don't think I'm not gonna say who but hey it's my humble opinion I could be 100% more no matter what okay but for some reason my instinct tells me I really don't think Charles had anything to do with what I think it's someone else but let's leave it as that let's go to the next tweet before i say stuff to give myself work next tweet all right so this is my comment to this all right so let's let me read mine here we go again back to the drawing board new script for the wells this is said has who knows the other end of the stick of this sick game has given them the warning deaf ears because they are die's grandkids i hope she sends her fairy dust for the kids to see what harry saw and get the f out okay so that was the tweet they start mentioning the kids and all of that i just realized in this picture this the firstborn have the same kind of smile with uh william but thank god he doesn't have the same gum teeth you know structure kind of like william but anyway let's see here watch out at home skull and bone coming soon exclusive on bbc itv my goodness like i said this is my response to it if they go back to the drawing board they're gonna start easing people into those kids where they're gonna pop up the the air and then who knows i don't know those two other kids gonna be thrown under the bus all right let's see what other people said okay omg deja vu of what they did to bill and harry it was fine for bill because he was the heir the others won't have it easy okay won't have it as easy yep lord 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 uh, the only thing i could say for people who really care about the kids just don't buy those uh, people uh, those articles all right like the squad do they just take screenshot and put whatever comment they have to say on twitter they create their own tweet with the screenshot think i might pick this up instead yeah yeah let's see here because of the way the institution anna the family treat the duke and duchess of sussex i have ill willed forward forwards the entire cambridge's family those teeth will he inherit it okay there's that 300 dollars sneakers let's see here we knew this was coming exploitation of their children also known as pim 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 <laughs> all right is camilla throwing prince george to the wolves now since pear is gone through the tabloid of course laughing my ass off invisible contract don't they know american don't form opinion from them all right and the thing is that i don't know i just hope those people who's writing those nonsense i don't know why they don't get business outside uh, so this is my comment again i highlight he had tv eyes and that's through that all right prince harry quote meg this is to our sussex family success to us all okay meg how i adore this great man okay spare number one new york Times bestseller yeah look at his face my goodness and look at megan and the th knowing what we know now what they both went through to make it here and this is why i think so many emotions probably going through that not only <laughs> megan said yes to him and megan still stuck with him after all the headache they put them to yeah he has his tv eyes my goodness it's the uh, tears of uh joy look at megan wow i really hope they're enjoying their lives together right now let's go into that there's three comments and the 35 retweet okay he has tv eyes you can tell he was emotional during the toast i always send my prayers to the sussex family yep okay prince harry found he is happy ever after that's for sure all right let's go to the next tweet i'm almost done i have one more okay i um highlight my comment there's this 
um i would love to hear her perspective of parts where has mentioned her and spare all right so let's read this first and i'll come back to my comment let's go straight into it okay I want to hear Megan's story from her earliest childhood memories to today. Hopefully one day she'll share it with us. Now this is me responding to that. Okay. I would love to hear her perspective of parts where has mentioned her and spare. Harry told us his side. I want to hear Megan's side. Example, when they were in their first trip together, that's the trip they took um, to Africa. Uh, what was she thinking when she heard the animal outside it? Uh, that's supposed to be tent okay outside the tent what she thought before harry will protect her her okay he thought okay um there's me correcting i just want to know okay i bet anything she will eventually write a memoir megan be five plus years but she will i bet she strikes while the iron is hot mm -hmm. that's why i hope she's developing a natural skin line okay bet there's family drama on megan's side too well she she has her mom lucy what is it and one her one of her podcasts miss dovia called while she was recording and she shared that moment with us and it was very positive when they talk hi you know so lovely you know interaction you don't hear the drama i'm sure there's somewhat disagreement here and there but i don't think it's everyday kind of thing like in the uh, the royal family kind of thing um, let's see here. I bet there's family drama on Megan's side too. I believe she been through some things. One of the things that bind, bind them together, Harry's family, of course, is so flamboyantly toxic that she can take comfort from Harry's pro progress and cocoon with him and their little family. Okay. She's been, what is it? Harry did tell us. What was it? They had some sort of an argument when they were cooking. There was music in the background and whatever. And then something was spoken and he took it the wrong way and uh, respond to megan in a harsh way and then megan left the space and and lucky for her not everyone is always in the uh in the mindset and the present to realize it and this is this is huge where at that moment when whichever way harry had spoken to megan she, for her to realize wait a second let me get the hell out of there she went to another room and she went to think and when harry didn't see her come after 15 minutes or so and she was in the room sitting and megan told told harry very calmly don't talk to me like that you know it's in the book go listen to it so i think from the get-go megan already told harry how our their relationship will be moving forward so yes there will be little you know little things here and there but it's not consistent for instance there's another thing from the docu series on netflix where something was going on in the uk where they mentioned uh, i think it was about jk and uh, they mentioned harry and megan first instead of who jk was working with all uh, right you see how megan was all uh, right there's little tension like this you know things is not always perfect you know i hope i, I make sense here all right, let's get back to that. Bet there's family drama on Megan's side too. <laughs> Pause again. The people, the toxic people that uh, would have caused drama and the little bubble that Harry and Megan have now, they already show themselves, okay? Prior to the wedding, the father, the brother, the half siblings and all of that, they already proved themselves. So they're probably not in that environment, toxic environment. Look at uh, Megan's niece. They have good relation, good relationship. So there it is. All right. So let's see here. Back again. Bet there's family drama on Megan's side too. I believe she's been through some things. One of the things that bind them together, Harry's family, of course, is so flamboyantly toxic that she can take comfort from Harry's progress and cocoon with him and their little family. Okay, she's been doodling all her life. I can't wait the day she chooses to use some of that in a book. It will be a work of beauty. Uh, why? There are a lot of incidents that I need Megan's perspective on just to fill in the blanks and truly understand what she went through. She is an excellent narrator. 
So when she decides to share her story, it will be groundbreaking and I will be first in queue. She journals so she has it, just a matter of if and when she is ready. But I'll gobble that up too. Yeah, remember when um, uh, they went back, I think it was in DocuSeries, they went back to the UK and she find her journals. So that's something. Let's see here. Oh, I would love to hear what she wrote on those journals, what she was feeling at certain time. Okay, she, okay I read that. Uh, give her about 10 years when she's 50, what a storytelling that will be. Okay, I know she'll do it when the time is right. She's probably uh, writing it right now, but um, when she decided to put it out there, she'll put it out there. Because sometimes when you think of something, it's good to write it down before you forget. Okay, she'll tell it soon enough. I think she just need time and space to decompress. I hope people leave them alone. Once Buzz from Harry's book dies down, uh, they deserve peace. Okay, they deserve peace. I can't wait did her story. I can't wait did her story. What I know is when that time comes, she will be coming for blood. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I don't think so. Megan is so mellow. She put up with a lot. Uh, many of us will say, I don't know how she does it because... <laughs> many of us will go ballistic with those people like uh, one of the tiktok videos uh, i came across i share it but i don't know if it's in one of those videos i need to redo and re-upload on here is that uh, a tiktok video where a latino guy was saying if harry had married a latina things would have been different because you will hear tea almost every day i'm just paraphrasing all right next tweet this is the last tweet now this is regarding Invictus game foundation and they are sponsoring or they're talking about the td5 bow bike tour and this is something my husband and i used to do and it's about to come it's usually i believe the first sunday of may i believe we've done it so many times all right so the let me read this first and then i'll read my comment we are still taking registration of entries for the TD5 Bowl Bike Tour. You will have the entire city of New York all to yourself as you cycle through the, to the Bronx, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, and Staten Island. <laughs> Before I said, uh, what is it? Uh, the Bronx? You just step in, okay? It's just a small portion. It's not the entire Bronx, okay? You just maybe at the top of Bronx and then you go across to Brooklyn. You actually spend more time on in Brooklyn, Brooklyn uh, Street, than actually the Bronx. The Bronx, you just happen. And in Manhattan, you start in Manhattan. Um, you have from World Trade Center all the way downtown. I think um, you as far as... Uh, What's that place? Um, uh, what is it where the exchange? What is it? I, f I can't think of the name. Uh, further downtown by World Trade Center and you go to Central Park. I don't know if they changed the route. You go to Central Park and you go downtown uh, Harlem and then through that you cross over. I think there's a small bridge and I think that bridge sort of connect with the Bronx. And then through that you go across to Queens and then, uh, is it Queens or Brooklyn? Yeah, I think it's Queens. And then you go back, I think uh, downtown, you go to, uh, is it the west side? No, what's the highway? Not the west side highway, the other side of, the, uh, of Manhattan. And then you go up to Brooklyn Bridge and then you cross over to Brooklyn. And through Brooklyn, you have a lot of street to experience. And then through that, where do you go? Queens, uh, I don't know, I forgot the route. But there's a lot of uh, pit stop. They give a lot of things out, a lot of uh, goodie bags, things to eat and all of that. So if you really want to experience uh, the city, this is it, this is it. You do it through your bike. If you really want to experience, uh, you know, sometimes you do the tour bus, the tour bus in Manhattan, it's not enough this one well you're gonna have to cycle yourself around but it's really good to get the experience of the city all right because i've done it many times with my husband my husband have done it before he's the one who introduced me to it and then now we haven't done it for a couple of time it now the tickets is a bit more expensive we have kids what was it we took my my youngest having experiences but my oldest have experienced it but we put him in those carriages in the back of the bike he came with us 
couple of times, but when he started to get older, it, it's too heavy for my son. And uh, I think the last time they went, I did not go. It was probably, wow, a couple of years. It's been maybe at least six or seven years since, uh, since then. All right, this is my comment here. Hubby and I used to do it, the TD 5 bow bike tour. It's really fun. Start downtown Manhattan, end up in Staten Island. Hubby used to park car night before in Staten Island, take the ferry back. Fo the following day, we do the tour. At the end of the tour, we drive back. The ferry usually crowded. It is really, really fun. Okay. So yeah, the night before of the tour, my husband will drive to Staten Island and park the car near the end of the the finished area it's usually near once you cross the bridge was uh, uh i for, is it was uh tap and z is it tap and z bridge or something like that once you cross that bridge there's a bridge that connects brooklyn to staten island and then through that there's a huge park near there that's where it ends and then through there there's a lot of goodies uh music you name it it's really fun and then through there and then you will walk to or ride your bike to take the ferry to the main manhattan all right but what we used to do we park our car the night before because when you really want to get out of there there's a lot of people the ferry is very crowded so we will park the car the night before and then once we're done we just drive back all right so this is it let's do a prayer prayer for what Prayer for success for, I don't know, successful, I don't know. Let's say a journey. Pros prosperity. All right, let's do that. Wow. Prosperity prayer. Give me assurance that as I seek your will, you will bless me with your prosperity. May the love of the Father, the tenderness of the Son, and the presence of the Spirit gladden my heart and bring joy to my soul today and for all days. To Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. So let's see if there's an image. Image. Let's do this one. Prayer for prosperity. Father God, I ask for your blessing on my life and the lives of my family. I pray that you will remove the sting of sickness and disease from those attached to me. I pray that you will increase my influence amongst your people. Lord, that I may be able to glorify you more. I pray that abundance and prosperity in my home and my church and my career and in my family. I know you are able to do abundantly above which I ask or thank. And I thank you in advance. In Jesus name. Amen. All right. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right. So that's it. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back.
saw me find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. <laughs> Thank you.